this next set of questions is a bit out of order because YouTube's uh, comment system flagged this as spam. I didn't flag it. And when it does that, it doesn't send you an email telling you that anyone had commented. So I didn't get to this set of questions. But this is from Varmint Coyote. Again, um, let's see. First, he wants to know, do you consider yourself to be an honorable person? Um, sometimes I do, at times. Um, I just don't consider honor to be something that is uh, permanent. It's quite fleeting. you got to keep on working on it. And so, you know, you got to keep earning it every day. Um, let's see. Assuming you were in the position to do so, and asked to make the final decision, would you launch nuclear weapons under any circumstance? Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't do it under any circumstance, um, but there would be particular circumstances where, yes, I would launch a nuclear weapon. Um, let's say an asteroid is headed to Earth and we need to split it in two uh, and or, or change its d trajectory so that it goes into the Sun rather than the Earth. Yeah, there's a circumstance right there. Um, alien invasion? I, I would be very hesitant to use it on human beings, though. Um, if someone asked you, what's the worst thing you've ever done, would you know the answer right away? Um, I know what I would answer right away, and I would have two answers for them. One's more on a personal level between uh, people, and one's more... Uh, achievement oriented and team based so yeah the two worst things I've ever done um, depending on what answer you're looking for I know what they are right away <sighs> but you didn't ask me what they were so I don't have to tell you yet um, but I think I've already gone over this in a QA like two years ago so in that Q and A, you can you can find it. Um, do people who are convicted of heinous crimes, child molesters, for example, deserve to have bad things happen to them in prison? Uh, well, I would say no. They do not. Um, because if they did deserve to have more bad things happen to them while they were in prison, there would be uh, policies and mandates and laws about giving them more uh, bad things happening to them. You know? Um, I think that when people get sentenced to prison... Uh, anything that's not covered in their sentence shouldn't be inflicted on them. Uh, but perhaps we should have truth in sentencing and, you know, carry out our sentences for some of the more heinous crimes, especially the ones that have greater recidivism rates. And his last question is, do you own any dice with more than six sides? I do, actually. I have ten D10s um, from playing the uh, Palladium role-playing system and from playing the uh, White Wolf system. But I haven't played them in a very long time, and I don't have any six-sided dice that I own in this house. Um, maybe some kids own some dice for a game, uh, but I don't own any. Uh, I don't own any dice with less than six sides, 
because any game that would require a, a die with less than six sides, I didn't like playing. I liked the systems of uh, other companies. And then I moved on to MMO games, and as soon as I did, I haven't looked back to any game that has any sort of moderator, dungeon master, dungeon guide, uh, game master, anything like that. Uh, I like letting the servers and letting the computer and let, letting the programming uh, make the call. It's a lot more fair because you can have someone who just has it in for you, you know, and once you're character to die like seven deaths in one night when everybody else is uh, having a good time. That's what I remember of role-playing games from a long, long time ago. <laughs> so, yeah, for me, MMO is the way to go, and the next MMO game I think I'm going to play is Planet Side 2. It's an MMO FPS that's coming out because I really liked Planet Side, and I really want to stay away from uh, WoW Addiction as long as I can. Um, I think I'm just going to play that game when. Uh, expansions come out and then play the expansion and then be done with it so yeah